It's amazing to me how often God is brought into the sex act. I understand even among non-believers, the most common expression of sexual ecstasy is, oh God. <laughs> when the script came your way, uh, what about it popped for you for this role? Like, what, what was the, the big appeal? I probably have a, a predisposition to, to, uh, to like films about disabilities because mm. I, I worked with United Cerebral Palsy for a couple of years and it's just, it's a fascinating subject to me and it's near and dear to my heart, so perhaps. But I'll tell you, what you saw on the screen, I read it. I'm pretty good at reading scripts. It's a great story, it's really well told. It's kind of makes you queasy sometimes <laughs> with some of the questions and I just love that, sex and disabilities. Let's, let's make a movie <laughs> about it. Um, well, your character is uh, an, an amalgamation of a number of people who were in Mark's life. He was a very religious guy. Um, do you know whether he, he actually did go to a priest at all and sort of look for validation to, to do this? Or do we know at all? Like, is it? I don't know. No, except he had relationship with uh, his church. Yeah. So that's all we know. But the, the idea of the character of the priest, Father Brendan, is Ben Lewin's idea. And he acts a little bit as uh, the chorus, too. Mm. It's, it's lovely the way Ben put it in the film to give you a little bit of breathing room. And what was it like working with John? You know, I, I spoke to him and, and he talks about how he, he, and he made it very clear he does not want to be, that he was a martyr or anything to play this role, but he had, you know, he would contort his body and it, he's talked about the fact that, you know, he enjoyed working with you so much because you brought a humor to the set that, you know, maybe he needed while he was shooting at times. Were you conscious of that, that, you know, you're working with another actor who's sort of putting himself in a really uncomfortable position for long periods? Yes. He put that thing yeah. to curve his spine to give him that serpentine look on the table. I knew it hurt. Uh, mostly, though, when you're on your set, you don't give a shit about the other actors. <laughs> I mean, I'm just worried about how I feel. Um, I tell you, it's really technically difficult what he did, and uh, uh, my flippant answer has truth in it. I, he makes everything look easy. He makes mm. it look really easy. And it was seeing the film that I, as an actor, thought, that's not easy. He didn't move anything but his head. And our, our job is to lose yourself in the moment, to yeah. go into this improv. The next thing you know, you're waving your hands, and you forget that, oh, I'm not supposed to move my hands, I forgot that. It's Sounds stupid, you try doing it for six weeks all day, every day. Well, and actually that's my question. So when you're, you're with an actor and he's being so, uh, you know, he can't move anything than his head, does it make you want to, like, be conscious not to be loud or not to be too sort of obvious in a scene because the actor you're with is, is not being as sort of active in a way? Like, did, do you find yourself being self-conscious about I it? I bought it, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's not important that you believe it, but I just bought it. I mean, mm. there's a guy that, who, who can't move. I'm, that's what I meant. He yeah. makes it look easy. And uh, I figured my job as a priest, it's empathy is their business, you know? Yeah. So uh, that sort of told me how, what my relationship would be with him uh, to, to make it easy. Easy. That's my, that was my job. Well, you know, I talked to Helen about the first time she saw the movie, which I believe was at Sundance, and she says that when she saw it, she sort of turned to, to, to you and to John or the other actors there, and she was like, wow, this is a really good movie. And, and I was curious, you know, um, you, you talked about the fact that you, you have a good sense when you read a script that, that it's going to work out, but when you saw the movie, you know, what surprised you the most in terms of, um, you know, was there there's something that, an empathy to it, was there humor that you even just really didn't expect? Uh, it's shocking to see Helen naked like that. <laughs> I mean, I knew the scenes were coming, yeah. but I guess what's shocking about it is that she's so unselfconscious about it. They mm -hmm. seem so natural. Yeah. They're, they're, the character is unselfconscious about it, but it's another step for the actor to be so... <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a love affair, but nonetheless, between... John and Helen in this thing, and she did it all right here, all right in her eyes. There's no dialogue about it. She just did it, and Adam Arkin did a great turn yeah. as her husband threw that 
uh, great writing on Ben's part, I think, but you see him jealous. Well, if he's jealous, that means, ooh, and then yeah. you see it. And then when this thing breaks apart, you weep like a baby. Of course, it has an, uh, a conclusion that's inevitable, but yeah. it just breaks your heart. That surprised me. Find out what's next in movies, music, and TV at hitfix.com.